Okay, so I wanted to start off by showing you the very basic technique with the transfers. And of course, you've got two different types of the transfers in the kit. And what I'm going to show you first of all are the foiled ones, okay? Now, it'll probably confuse you a little bit when you first look at them, because what you actually look at is the the black foil with the silver behind but what you're actually getting there is a silver transfer we've just done it in the black so that you can easily see it so for example on this one here you've got the the borders you've got the central focal point you've got some beautiful swirls the one I'm going to work with in this demonstration is we're going to work with this one here where you've got this beautiful corner and then these and um, these like dotty things just to give a bit of a, a hint of foil in there okay now what I've done, just to kind of make life easy, is I've already cut these out. So just with a sharp pair of scissors, you just want to cut around each of the individual elements. And we're going to start off by transferring that onto a little bit of... I'm going to use the patterned paper in the kit. So can you see, I've cut the patterned paper just slightly larger than what my foil transfer is. Now, when you're transferring them, what you'll see is, in with the transfers, you get the applicator, which is literally a popsicle stick. So you can use anything that's kind of remotely similar. And here's how we're going to do it. So when you pick up the transfer, if you look, it's got a, um, a transfer backing on. So can you see, when you're cutting them out, completely leave it um, so that you don't damage the, the transfer itself. But then when you come to peel the back off, you'll peel away the clear film. We don't need that anymore. And then we take that transfer and very, very carefully and gently place it down over where it is you want it to appear okay so i want that to just come on the corner that's when we then use our popsicle stick just to give it a really good rub over now the good thing about this is if you don't quite get everything rubbed down it is really easy to go back over and, and check so i feel like i've got everything rubbed here's what we're going to do we're going to start lifting from the side Ah, oh, yes, I can see most of that's transferred, no problem. Here's a little bit that I've missed. Give it another bit of a rub. So it's still being anchored in place with the rest of the sticky. So as I'm lifting, I'm just carefully checking. Oh, can you see there's a few little bits just down here that are pulling away a little bit. That's just because I haven't transferred everything down. So back down, give it a good rub over. Just make sure that everything is transferred so that then when we peel it, yep everything is transferred no problem and you'll see there the beautiful foil that we've got right so that's our foil transfer now it's going to give it a nice little just rub to make sure all those little bits are stuck down this now essentially is the waist i mean it's a beautiful design so i'm sure a lot of you'll be able to keep that use it for something else so that is our foil transfer onto the base part and I'm just going to mat and layer that onto a little bit of white card, both for stability and also just to make it stand out a little bit. So because we've got the coloured, the foil on the coloured is a little bit subtle. So that the transfer there will just give me that option. Okay? So that's the topper ready to go on the front of the card. Now I'll pop that to one side. And then what I can do is I'll show you the base card I've done. So very simply, in your pack... And I'll take them out to show you. One of the sets of cards that you've got are just some very basic square cards. And I've done them in a few different colours for you as well, just so that you've got a bit of a mix of designs to put your foil transfers onto. So I took one of the pink ones. Now, it's obviously designed as a square card. However, all I've done is cut away along the front to give me a shaped card like this. And it just gives you a little bit of a point of difference, something a little bit more unusual. And I always find... If you try and make a slightly unusual shape card to begin with, you don't need to do as, lot, as much to decorate it for it to look really impressive, okay? So that's going to be our base design there. And then what I've done is I've just taken, again, a couple of more pieces of the cardstock, and I've done the patterned cardstock, and I'm going to matte and layer it onto the white, and then onto the base design like this. So that you've got something on the inside, and then also we're going to have something on the front. So we're just going to stick those in place now. Now, while I'm just giving the glue a couple of minutes to set before I put my transfers onto here, now I've got the base card ready, I'm just going to do the sentiment. Now, with the sentiment, again, I've just used a little bit of that leftover cardstock to create a matte layer in the pink. And then with the white... I'm just going to use the happiness transfer. So just like you saw me do before, I've cut all of that out and then I'm just going to release off that backing paper. 
So that becomes the scrap. And because we've printed these in the black, it's going to be really easy for you to see exactly where you want that to be positioned. So I just like to rub it over with my finger first, and then you can really go over in detail with the popsicle stick. So once I'm happy with this, let's try just lifting that up. Oh, and you can see that's transferred absolutely beautifully. No missed parts at all, okay? And then that again is just going to matte and layer onto the top. Now notice I'm using the tape pen to matte and layer here because I feel pretty comfortable that I'm going to get that in the right place. However, when I had a number of moving parts, when I needed to position these together, I was using the all-purpose glue to give me that little bit of time to manoeuvre. So we've got our topper. We've got the top of it to go on the card. These are all ready to go. What I'm going to do then is put some little transfers on these corners. Now, remember when I showed you the design, you can see there we've used this big corner piece, but then you've also got these two kind of dotty feel corners. All I've done is I've cut these out and I'm going to use these over top. So just as you saw me do before, I'm going to peel the backing off. And then there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just kind of how you, where you feel you want it to, to apply. I'm going to pop that into one corner. And then exactly the same in the top. And they're lovely, these designs. They just give a little bit of a hint of the foiling. And foiling is so on trend at the moment. The more trade shows I've walked around the last few months, all I've seen everywhere is foiling. It's wonderful. If you've got one of our foil press machines, you'll be able to do loads of foiling on a big professional scale. But for a lot of people, you just maybe want a little bit of a hint of foil like what we've got here. And this enables you to do that. So we've just got that lovely little bit of a, a hint of foil on the corner. And then exactly the same over on this corner here. And we peel this off. You're just going to get that lovely hint of foil. Let's have a look. That hasn't transferred in the corner. That's why it's good to be able just to release it up and then peel that away. And then you see that just gives us that little bit of a hint of foil on the top and the bottom corners. So just to put the whole card together to make kind of sense of everything, what I'm going to do is you can see the card's going to open and stand proud like this. So I'm going to just stick my topper only on to the front half. So it's going to go in the centre. And you can see we're only actually having glue down in this bottom corner. So really important, don't put glue over the back of everything. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to use the tape pen just because it's, a, in, it's an instant stick. So if I've got plenty of tape on there. And then we just line that up in the centre. And then make sure that's stuck down nicely in the bottom corner. So there we go. So there's our topper now on the front. Then, with that little happiness sentiment, I'm just going to do a little bit of shaping. It's really easy just to kind of shape it in between your fingers like this. And then when I have done some shaping, you see that's going to position on there like that. I'm going to use the 3D glue gel to hold that down. Just because I do want a little bit of, bit of 3D to what we're sticking. So there's our happiness topper. Then just to finish it off, what you'll see is in your kit, you do get some beautiful ribbons. I like to include ribbons in all of these kits so that you've got all those little finishing touches. So I'm just going to add a little bit of ribbon under the corner. And again, your 3D glue gel or a, or a glue gun or something like that is going to be perfect just to add that little finishing touch onto the top corner there. And that is the transfers of the foil in their most basic format. But my word, do they look effective.